Okay folks, today we're going to do an electric guitar version of Still Into You by Paramore. That's a really, really fun tune. We've got a couple of cool little riffs in it and some easy power chords. So let's get started. Right folks, our song is divided into three sections. We've got the verse part, which is the cool little riff that you heard me playing at the start. You've got the chorus part, which is power chords. And then you've got a bridge part, which is also a cool little riff as well. So let's start with the verse riff. We're starting on an F note. So that's the first fret on the sixth string there. Okay, so we'll put the tab up for the first part here. Our first part is just outlining an F chord, so you can see that. There's also ones, fives, threes, and twos. So we're going to play the first fret, and then we're going to play one and then five. So it's one, one, five, all in the same string. Then we're going to go down to the third fret below that. Okay, so the third fret is on the fifth string, and then we're going to finish on the second fret on the 4th string, 1, 1, 5, three, two. Okay. So we're going to play that through the first time, then we're going to just play exactly the same thing again but add in that 3rd fret note at the end, so we're going to go, we're going to go back up to that 3rd fret note on the 5th string, okay. So we'll do this through, we'll go through this twice. Okay, so that's the first part of our riff, so that's the tab on the screen covered there. Let's change the tab on to the next part. We're going to start on the 5th fret. Okay, so that's the 5th fret on the 5th string there. And we're going to do exactly the same idea, except the only note that's changing is our first note. So instead of playing the 1st fret here, we're playing the 5th fret here. The other notes remain the same. So it's 5, up to the 5th fret above. And you go down that order, 5, 3, 2. So you play 5. 5, move up to 5, then 3, 2, and then the second time, add in that 3rd fret, like that. So this twice through would sound like this, okay, and you go between the two. start again. So that's how your verse riff goes through. Okay, so we've got two little parts to that. Starting on the F, the first fret there, and the D at the fifth fret on the fifth string. Okay, so let's move on to our chorus part now. Right folks, our chorus has four chords in it. Uh, we've got B flat 5, C5, we've got D5, and we've got F5. We've got two different versions of F5 as well. We're going to go one version here at the first fret on the sixth string, and a version at the 8th fret on the 5th string. So, in order, what we're going to do is we're going to pan mute down 8 strums on, on each chord, okay? So we're going to do this to start off with. We're going to start with B flat 5 at the 1st fret here. So you see I'm kind of laying off the volume a little bit, just kind of playing a little bit lighter. Along to the C5, then up to the F5. And you're going to build up the sound into a crescendo on that F5 there. So it's B flat 5. For eight, C5 for eight, and F5 has got two sets of eight, and you build up this sound. Then you repeat that twice for the chorus, okay? To start off with, so you're going to go B flat five, eight times, C5 eight times, F5 for two sets, and eight. Then again. Okay, now the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to do B flat five. Along to C5, along to D5, two frets along, then along to the 8th fret, which is the F5, then back to B5, then C, and you're going to finish on that C, okay? It will finish at the C for one strum on the first chorus, and on the second chorus it will keep going. And it will lead into our bridge part, okay? So I'll play through that chorus all the way through once more, um, starting from this B flat 5 pan you did, just leading into it. I'll play all the way through the chorus and then we'll move on to this bridge. So here's the chorus all the way through. And we'll build the crescendo, then B flat 5, C5, then F5. Then repeat, B flat 5, C5, 
F flat. Okay, then we're gonna go to B flat again. C, D, along to the eighth, which is the F, back to B flat. Then finish on a C, and I'll lead back into the back into our little riff at the start. Okay, so that's all our chorus all the way through. Let's move on to our last part, which is our bridge section. Okay, so our last part is our bridge section. It's quite simple as well. Um, there's kind of a couple of guitar parts happening here, but we'll focus on the main one where you can hear the melody happening. So we're going to be doing a riff again. So we'll put this riff up on the screen for you. So we're going to start with the first fret here again, just like the first riff. And we're going to play from the first fret on the sixth string. We're going to go down to the third fret on the fourth string and play three and two and then third fret above on the fifth string. So we're going to go. One, three, two, three. Okay, so that's our first part there. Done it twice. Then we're going to go to the fifth fret on the fifth string and play one, two, three, four, five, six times on the fifth fret. And then play a seven on the seventh time and an eighth on the eighth. So that actually works out well. It works along with the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six times on the fifth fret, once on the seventh, once on the eighth, and then eight times here on the third fret. So we'll add that together there. And then back to the riff. Now instead of doing this little little riff part, you could even just do chords. It's really up to you how you want to do things, okay? But that's the little main riff part that one of the guitars is playing there. It's doing that little high melody on the five to the seventh to the eighth. Okay, so you can follow that through, practice that and connect it all up and you'll have the whole song. Thanks for watching folks, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to rate, comment and subscribe. If you want any more videos on some Paramore songs, let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, take care.